So you've created your new YouTube channel and now you want to start making channel art. Things like your YouTube profile picture, header, video intro and outro, thumbnails and more. But making YouTube channel art is not simply about uploading an image to fill the space. It's about creating a great first impression. This is Grace from Kapwing, and this video marks the start of our YouTube channel art series, where we give you tips for branding your YouTube channel and videos, and walk you through how to make these assets with free templates. We'll be releasing the videos in this series over the next few weeks, so make sure to subscribe to keep up with each episode, and keep watching to learn more about what to do before you start creating your channel art, and what to expect for the rest of the series. So even before you start creating your channel art, you want to first think about your YouTube channel branding. Consider how your channel looks to someone viewing it for the first time. What do you want them to see? And what do you want them to know about you and your content? This comes down to design elements, using consistent colors, fonts, image styles, and conveying your brand's personality. For example, if we walk through the Kapwing YouTube channel, we can see that we have the consistent logo across all our social platforms used on our YouTube channel, in addition to the same shades of purple used in the header and the logo, the railway font is used across our thumbnails and the header, and we use illustrated graphics, and you can tell we're all about digital creativity from the computer and slogan. Especially as a new channel, creating good first impressions and having users leave with what you want them to know is crucial to establish who you are. And consistent branding helps with this as viewers can recognize your content across YouTube and even across different social media platforms and websites. It also makes your channel and everything you make look more professional and thought through. So for the sake of consistency, one thing that I want to nail down is my color scheme. So for the rest of the series, I'm going to show you how to make all this channel art using an example with my own channel that I'm starting uh, called Grace's Place, and it's going to be about mental health and wellness. So I want to create a color scheme. I don't have one yet. I'm trying to make it from scratch. And one easy way to do this is just to use a color palette generator. So we have one here. It's a template that is linked in the description below. So you can click that link and you'll be here. Now to get started, just click make it. And so this is the example here, but basically you can upload a photo and then use our eyedropper tool and each of these rectangles to select colors from the photo. So this works if you have an existing photo or a logo or something that you're using and you just want to extract the colors from there, which are the colors you can use in uh, your different assets like your header and your thumbnails and just for brand consistency across other platforms too. So I'm going to base my channel's color scheme for this series around an image that I have, which I'm going to be using as my profile picture, which is the next episode in the series. So to upload your own photo, just click the upload button up here and I'm going to search my files. I have it here. So this is the photo I'm going to be using for my color scheme. So I'm going to just resize this by clicking the dots and to resize proportionally. So if you uploaded a square photo like I did, you can just click shift and drag to resize proportionally. I'm actually going to delete this one in the back, the sample, and then make this fit the corners of these other squares using these red lines. Now we have my photo there. Then to select colors from this photo, you click a rectangle on the outside and then on the side here, there will be a fill color selector. So this is the eyedropper tool and you can click that and then now any color you roll over on the canvas will be shown on the right. So if I want to choose that color as part of my palette, I'm just going to click. And there it is. So this is the first color I chose. So I'm going to do this in a way where I'm kind of going from light to dark with each of these rectangles. I'll show it again. Uh, just click the rectangle and then click this eyedropper tool and then roll over the color in the photo that you want to choose for your palette. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with the next five colors here and then I'll skip forward to show you the end product. This is the color palette I'm gonna be using for my channel, for every, for all the assets mostly, uh, and just for the rest of the series. And using this pa color palette maker in Kapwing is really helpful because then when we do make the assets like our profile picture and our header, we can actually bring in this exact project 
uh, into those other projects really easily. So once you're done with your color palette, then just click export image. Awesome, so my color palette is loaded. This is the final product. And if you do wanna save this file to your computer, you can just click download here. But otherwise, I would suggest signing in to your account on Kapwing so that we can use this project, this color palette later in our other designs for the rest of the series for our channel art. Now, after you've thought a little bit about what kind of personality you wanna give off on your YouTube channel and how you wanna brand it, then you can start thinking about actually creating the channel art. Luckily, you don't need expensive editing software and equipment just to make awesome looking channel art and video assets. You can use Kapwing, which is an online image, video, and GIF editing software that you can get started for free on. So in the rest of the series, I'll show you how to use Kapwing to make well-designed channel art and video assets and give you templates to make the process easier. You can look forward to making a YouTube profile picture, header, video intro, outro, thumbnail, nails, watermark, and at the end I'll go over some tips for making more entertaining video content. That's it for today's video, but if you have thoughts about YouTube branding, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to get some discussions going. Also let us know if you have questions for the future series and suggestions for topics to include. Make sure to subscribe so you can see when the next video comes out for this series, and we'll see you in the next one.